Hi, um, I decided to give you a quick review of the LR Bags Mix Pro preamp for acoustic guitar because when I considered getting this thing, I couldn't find anything on YouTube and I had a few questions that of course those geniuses uh, in the various music stores I went to couldn't answer. Also, this tends to be a product that's not on, you know, in stock in most music stores because it's kind of special. Um, but it's a great little device and uh, I just want to tell you real quick what it can do. Uh, it's designed for people who have an acoustic guitar equipped with either um, an undersaddle bridge pickup, a piezo pickup, um, or one of these uh, contact microphones that you put onto the guitar bridge with a bit of putty, or even one of those magnetic uh, sound hole pickups um, in combination with an actual microphone. So if your guitar has two sources uh, and you need to combine them and mix them and blend them, this is the best way to go. The reason for having this kind of setup is because you've heard various world famous superstars on TV play acoustic guitar live and sound terrible. Piezo pickups are uh, pressure sensitive. They pick up basically the vibration of the string on the bridge and they do very little in terms of uh, capturing the beauty and, and natural sound of your guitar. So that's why a cheap $200 guitar with a piezo pickup sounds almost indistinguishable from an expensive great guitar with a piezo pickup. Uh, if you add just a little bit of microphone sound from a from an actual microphone you can improve your sound significantly now microphones come with their own set of disadvantages the biggest one of which of course is feedback so what you want to do is you want to give the the biggest part of your sound in terms of volume uh, through uh, an unproblematic source like a piezo pickup and then you want to enhance that sound with microphone and you want to be able to decide how much of the microphone you can afford to blend in uh, before you run into problems with feedback. Now the the Mix Pro is set up to uh, use um, a signal from an acoustic guitar that comes through a stereo cable. That doesn't mean that it's going to come out of the speakers in stereo that just means that the two stereo channels are used to separate the signals so with a sing simple uh, regular input jack um, the mix pro can work with two separate signals a transducer and microphone and then you can blend it with this little blend control here uh, in other words you can tell the mix pro how much microphone you can afford to use then you have um, you have a, a, a master volume that looks different on mine than it looks in the catalog for some reason, but never mind that. Then you have two uh, controls. One is for uh, treble, one is for bass. Then there's a little trim control that um, allows you to um, reduce boominess, which you sometimes get, especially from those microphones, since those are built into the guitar's body. So they tend to sound a little boomy boxy especially when you're using a PA that has a subwoofer um, so it can be a good idea to adjust the, the uh, base behavior of the preamp if you will um, I'm gonna open it up real quick because it also has controls on the inside it runs on a single 9 volt battery um, would have been cool to be able to use a one spot or something like that or even to have the output be an XLR kind of output. So you could use a microphone cable and get phantom power from the mixer to the Mix Pro and to your built-in microphone. But that's not the way it is. Okay, so you can see here the additional controls on the inside. These are for setting, you know, beforehand if you have a lot of time on your hands and you really want to fine tune the behavior of the two channels. You can uh, control those problems I talked about with, with boominess and also to a certain extent with the separation of the two signals. Um, there are also probably invisible here tiny little switches on the inside. There's an additional bass roll-off. Um, those are 
really if you want to get into the, the fine details just to show you that this thing is really well thought out and they, they put a lot of thought into uh, the possible applications. Um, there's also a phase invert switch that has something to do with, um, you can hear this, the, the difference in sound immediately. You can hear right away which setting sounds better. It has to do with the phase of the guitar's top vibrating in correlation to the way the speakers vibrate. I'm not completely clear on the technical aspects, but I can hear the difference and I can usually just decide on one of the two settings immediately. One always sounds significantly better and the other always sounds a little boxy. But given the particular situation, you know, that that's a quick adjustment you can make during your sound check. And then one thing that is very important to me um, that was risky when I ordered it because I didn't really know and nobody could explain to me. Um, you can, it has two separate switches for the built-in phantom power for your little microphone. So you can set the phantom power to run either on the tip channel or the ring channel, um, or even both, I think, depending on what you have in your guitar. Now, I got this thing as a replacement for this. This is what I had originally bought when I got my microphone and my transducer built into my guitar. It's the Fishman Blan Blender, which they discontinued, and I know why. Um, it is cool in terms of connections. It has, you know, separate outputs for transducer, microphone, and mix, and it has a um, effects loop, and it has all kinds of things. But it doesn't sound great. It, it for some reason isn't voiced right and it also has problems with hissing so um, that's why I started looking around for an alternative and uh, this is what I found now let me stop talking because I want to give you a short demonstration of what it sounds like okay bye bye okay damn you YouTube and your 10 minute limit so very briefly like pretty good right um, too much reverb the thing costs um, roughly 150 bucks which I think is a very fair price and they don't send me any free merch now I don't know what else to do so um, LR bags mix pro get it thank you goodbye